Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is one of the largest, most successful, and longest serving bombers in military history. First introduced by the U.S. Air Force in 1955, the B-52 was originally designed as a long-range, heavy bomber to be used during the Cold War. As such, it was imperative that the massive plane be able to react to threats as quickly as possible. But, due to the plane's size and the configuration of its engines, engineers and ground crews had to come up with some innovative solutions. As the threat of nuclear war was almost constant, B-52s loaded with munitions were positioned all around the world. The problem is that the aircraft's eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 turbofan engines take roughly an hour to warm up for flight. This is not just due to the engines, but to a lack of onboard auxiliary power. To get the B-52s in the air faster, engineers came up with the cart start. Short for cartridge start, this operation consists of putting small explosive cartridges into the engine. When activated, these cartridges combust and cause the engine's fan blades to turn. Essentially, this functions as an instant warm-up for the engines, allowing the B-52 to be mission-ready in just 10 minutes. The B-52 has undergone various changes since it was first introduced, with the military issuing several improvements and advancements designed to keep the plane flying for as long as possible. One of the few elements that remained the same was the engines. For this reason, the cart start continued to remain necessary, with ground crews continually training new teams on how to perform the procedure. The TF-33s can put out about 17,000 pounds of thrust each, giving the plane, which can weigh up to 488,000 pounds at takeoff, a top speed of 650 miles per hour. Decades after the Cold War ended, the B-52 might soon gain the rapid deployment capabilities its past crews wanted so badly. Rotate. As part of a new Air Force initiative designed to keep the B-52 flying for another 20 years, they plan to refit all existing B-52s with new Rolls-Royce F-130 engines. Thanks to the upgrade, the new B-52 is expected to be more reliable than ever with greater fuel efficiency, increased range, and better field performance. Mm -hmm. 
Ultimately, the Air Force plans to purchase around 650 of these new engines at a cost of around $2.6 billion. Until the refit project is completed, the B-52 will remain one of the vital first response aircraft in the U.S. fleet. This means repeatedly training ground crews and pilots alike in the same tactics that have been used for more than 70 years. This includes scramble training, a simulation in which flight crews must take off as quickly as possible and rapid landing procedures. Still, one of the most impressive visual presentations involving the B-52 is what's known as an elephant walk, or minimum interval takeoff. This is where multiple B-52s taxi and take off in close formation, as if they were all simultaneously called to duty at the same time. Though the B-52 may be the most famous example of an aircraft lacking internal auxiliary power, it is by far not the only one. In fact, many military planes throughout history have required auxiliary power units, or APUs, in some form or another. Basically, APUs function as self-contained power sources that provide electrical power and, in some cases, pneumatic power to an aircraft when its main engines are not running. Of course, the need for APUs can vary based on a variety of conditions. A plane or helicopter might require auxiliary power during boarding and pre-flight preparations, when engines are offline for maintenance, or as an emergency backup power source. One of the most important aircraft the U.S. has is the KC-46 Pegasus. This relatively new aircraft was introduced by Boeing in 2019 and primarily serves as a tanker aircraft to refuel other military planes while they're still in the air. Tankers like these are the secret infrastructure that keeps the rest of the fleet on a mission and can cover thousands of miles without stopping to land. Of course, APUs are also used in the commercial sector. For instance, Besides designing the new engines for the B-52, Rolls-Royce has also designed numerous engines for the commercial airline industry, of which Boeing and Airbus are leaders. This Airbus A350 is the first to come off the assembly lines and has its Trent XWB engines started for the first time thanks to the assistance from an APU. Rolls-Royce is known around the world for its engine manufacturing and maintenance standards. Indeed, the company's engines are currently used on board thousands of different planes in both the military and commercial sectors. Moreover, the Trent XWB is often considered the top engine in the Rolls-Royce line of products.
XWB stands for Extra Wide Body, emphasizing the engine's primary application on wide-body airliners, specifically Airbus's A350 XWB family of aircraft. The engine is well known for its fuel efficiency and reduced environmental impact. During its design, Rolls-Royce incorporated various advanced technologies to achieve improved fuel consumption and lower emissions. That said, the engine still provides high amounts of thrust, up to 97,000 pounds in some cases, which is crucial for long-haul flights and large-capacity aircraft. Rolls-Royce not only leads the market in the development of engines, but also engine parts. This is perhaps best typified by the Ultrafan. This design features several innovative technologies, including the wide cord fan blade design. The wide cord fan blades have a further distance between the leading edge and the trailing edge compared to traditional aircraft engine fan blades. This helps to increase the overall efficiency of the engine by providing a more substantial airflow and generating higher thrust for that given engine size. This allows the engine to produce more power while consuming less fuel, resulting in better fuel efficiency and reduced operating costs. These fan blades also contribute to reduced engine noise due to the optimization of the blade's airfoil. Aside from its advanced designs, Rolls-Royce maintains its incredibly high standards through extensive jet engine testing. In 2021, the company opened what is dubbed the world's largest and most advanced indoor aerospace test bed, Testbed 80. The massive Derby UK facility boasts an internal area of 7,600 square meters and was designed with only the latest technology for testing engines and components. The cost of the facility is estimated to be around $130 million. It features a powerful X-ray for examining internal engine parts and multiple hot test areas and will mainly focus on sustainability as it applies to aerospace design. Testbed 80 is backed up by Rolls-Royce's Mechanical Test Operations Center in Germany. Here, technicians evaluate the fatigue life of various airplane parts. The more they understand how, why, and under what stresses different components fail, the better they are able to keep their engines flying for years to come. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.